All right, we got you a great video coming from Rock House Gun and Pong. Y'all stay tuned. Like I said in the pre-intro, we are at Rock House Gun and Palm. That's at 5430 Highway 19 North in Meridian, Mississippi, 39307. And the phone number is 601-485-5895. They are a fully licensed FFL following all federal, state, and local laws. I'm not selling any firearms in this video. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what they have. I do not work for them. I just wanted to clear that up. I don't work for uh, our I'm not employed or work for Rock House Gun and Pawn in any way. Um, let's see, what else I want to say? Thank you to all the previous viewers and subscribers for coming back. All new viewers, remember, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Hit that bell for notifications because you don't want to miss anything that happens here on R4 Mississippi Thunder. So, let's get into the video. All right, we got you a uh, cool firearm today that's uh, hard to find, but this is the H&K, or HK they say nowadays, P30L, which the L indicates the long slide. It is a single double action firearm. You can see nothing in the magazine chamber area. You see that? You know, look in the chamber there, just to make sure that you know it's clear. There's no ammunition on the table here. Okay, so this is a single double action firearm. This particular one is nine millimeter. It comes uh, in nine millimeter or 40, Smith and Wesson. And uh, the capacity for a nine millimeter is, this is a, well, okay. Never mind online, it said 15. This is a 17 round magazine. And uh, so I imagine you get about 13 to 15 rounds with a 40. I'm not 100% sure. It says 15 online, but evidently, or it says 15 for the nine millimeter, but this is 17 and it says 13 for 40, but evidently maybe you get a couple more. So maybe you get about 15. All right, sights. You have your fixed dovetail sights, three dot there. Your slide is made out of a one-piece machined nitro nitro burrized steel with a corrosion resistance hostile environment blued finish they call it but that looks that looks more like a nitride to me than a, a blued finish but hey yeah that's not gonna be a all right well anyway it's black. I don't think it looks like a blue finch. It might be, but anyway. Okay. Exposed hammer with a little knurling on the back there. Has the cold hammer forged polygonal bore. And that's supposed to increase velocity, easy cleaning, and a longer barrel life in the, uh, let's see, in the 1960s, Heckler and Koch uh, produced a famous polygonal, polygonal barrel profile uh, technology and uh, it's better than conventional conventional lands and grooves it allows the propellant oh excuse me the conventional lands and grooves allow the propellant to escape around the front of the bullet which the polygonal barrel actually seals that off better and that's a heckler and Koch design uh corrosion proof fiber reinforced frame it actually has uh interchangeable back straps and uh, yeah, interchangeable back straps there. Nice texturing all the way around. Has some finger grooves on the front with some texturing there on the front of that. Nice texturing on the side and on the back strap. So. All right, got your undercut here on the trigger guard. Got you some texturing there on the front of the trigger guard. That right there, yeah, that so. leads into a 1913 Picatinny rail there. All right, let's go back up top here. 
um, ambidextrous pretty well. It has ambidextrous slide lock and release on both sides there. You can release that slide from that side or this side here. Okay. Um, it does not have like a manual external safety. Uh, there is a decocker here beside the hammer. Right there, you can see that decocker. So that is your safety there. Like I said, single double action. You can cock the hammer back or this slide will bring the hammer back for you when it wrecks. <clears throat> the magazine release is a neat little design. I like the way it's designed. It is ambidextrous right here on the trigger guard on both sides. You can, that magazine is empty. You can manipulate that magazine release right there with that little flipper. Or you can come over here with your thumb and do it. So however you prefer, you know, to, if you want to just when you, even if you're right-handed, you bring it back, you can release it right there. However you feel comfortable doing that. So that's a little neat little option it has there. They say it has the patented HK uh, recoil reduction system and let's see here what else there's some, okay right here on the bottom of the magazine release you see it it's cut out so if you do have some kind of malfunction and you need to get a hold of that magazine to you know rip it out if it gets jammed there is that area there like I said again, oh, available in 40 Smith and Wesson and 9 millimeter. All the measurements are exactly the same on both of them. We have overall length of 7.71, overall height of 5.43, and that is with the little lever on the side. Wait, no, overall height 5.53. Overall width with the lever on the side is 1.37 from outside to outside there. The barrel itself is 4.45 inches and the sight radius on top of the slide is 6.42 inches on your sight radius there and it weighs, both of them weigh either 40 or 9 millimeter, they weigh 27.52 ounces. Oh, on the front, I did fail to mention here on the front you have some nice uh, serrations there and on the back you have some nice serrations um i guess that's about it on that we're gonna check clear again here just want you to make sure we're looking down through there there's nothing in the uh, magazine nothing in the chamber stick your pinky in there and verify that we are going to check the trigger pull now i imagine with uh the double action, you know, pulling the hammer back. Uh, again, let me go ahead. If you don't know what double action means, double action means when you pull this trigger here, that it's gonna pull this hammer back as the trigger's pulling. You can see the trigger going back, the hammer's going back, and it's going to release right there, okay? Now, with single action, it only does one single action. As you can see, the uh, the trigger, as you pull the hammer back, just in case you don't know anything about firearms, when you pull the hammer back, see that the trigger goes back and sets to that shorter position. The hammer is back, you pull that, and it does one single action, and that is release the hammer. Okay, now, we're gonna pull this, I doubt, like I said, we'll even be able to get a reading on the double action end of it, being it's gonna be so heavy. Yeah, it's not even, not even moving the trigger okay so double action is we know it's over eight pounds it's probably 10 to 12 all right with the single action got the hammer set back gonna pull that it's gonna release right there at a little over six and a half pounds we'll reset that hammer pull it again Okay, and we're about seven pounds there. Do it one more time. And what are we got? About seven pounds. So six and a half, seven pounds. 
trigger pull in the uh, single action only mode. The double action, like I said, it won't even register on there. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. There's your 17 rounds again of the nine millimeter. Hope you enjoyed this video. We want you to come back and see us on R4 Mississippi Thunder for more interesting gun videos. And we do hope to, um, it is fixing to be the first of the year. We do hope to get back out to the range. We're gonna try to get out there right after uh, the end of deer season, which here in Mississippi ends on the 31st of January. So hopefully, Lord willing, the creek don't rise. We'll get out there to the range around February or so. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed this video on the HK P30L. That means the L means a long slide. Remember that life is good and God is great. And for I have learned to be content in every circumstance. It comes from Philippians 4, 11 in the good book. So y'all can read that and read everything around it because there's some good information in there to live by. That's what I try to live by, but it is hard, but I do try to live by it. Anyhow, come back to see us in awful Mississippi Thunder. God bless you. And God bless America.